What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Klusk here, Klusk Customs. Um, I started a wiring project last night on the Ram Rebel 2019 5th Gen, and uh, it became quite a hassle. So, it is the next morning, and I'm all finished up. So, I'm just going to kind of go over again real quick what I did. I ordered these lights off Amazon because um, I wanted to keep the green kind of theme going and everybody has the amber lights raptor styled lights they call them I guess but uh yeah so what I did is I daisy chained three three and three because the way the grill was it was not going to uh lay evenly with two two and two so I switched it to three three and three and what I did is I ended up putting them right in the middle, which ended up working out pretty good. I was going to do three on the end over here, but as you can see that back plate in here, it's not very, uh, very much width from the grill to that. So the wires would be quite confined in there and bent pretty harshly, but, uh, I tried to take this girl out. I was going to try to remove that back shroud somehow. But man, oh man, I could not. I took the top shroud off. I took this piece off here after. I undid the grill from the top. And I mean, I watched a few other videos, but it's so hard because there's nothing online or YouTube about these 5th Gen Rebels yet. Because they're not the same as most um, 1500s unless it has the off-road package in it. Uh, so yeah what I did was I ended up just rerouting them and doing it that way so I had bought this little fuse tap thing and I was going to try to get power from the fuse box here but it just wasn't going to work uh, the fuse tap was way bigger than a normal fuse size I don't even know what it's for honestly but so what I did is <clears throat> I don't know if you guys will be able to see back here but the firewall, so what RAM did is where your main wire harnesses come through, it's actually relatively high, right behind the battery here. There's a little nipple right where those wires are. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not, but there's a little nipple in there. And it's like a little access port. So if you cut the end of that nipple off, you can feed, I have two wires through. The second one was hard to get through, but I did get it in there. Seen some kind of kinks, but yeah, the wire's still good. But uh, yeah, you know, I fed two, I think they're 18 gauge wires through here, I'm not positive, but, uh, and what I did is I had to run a relay switch inside here, a rocker switch, whatever you want to call it. Um, so then you ground it on the inside of the cab, which I did right up here. Behind this, there's a metal little bracket plate washer type deal. It's actually a nut that this screws into. And I wedged the clip in between the metal, which there's like a metal plate frame that this all bolts to that runs up a little bit. Um, so, it goes nothing. I'm gonna give it a shot. See if we have power. Let's see here. Oh, the light came on. Yay. Let's see if I know what I'm doing, boys and girls. Ooh, yeah. I like it. I think the three, three, and three definitely is gonna stand out more. And uh, like I said, I just, I was gonna go to the far end over here, three in the middle right where they are, and then the other far end, but I just couldn't do it. It was, uh, it was too tight and just not enough room. And I don't think you can take this grill off without pretty much dropping the whole bumper. I couldn't figure it out anyways. I mean, I was out here for four or five hours, but uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Looks pretty good. The hood closed. Yeah, buddy. Very simple. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say it was simple because it wasn't simple. 
but with that rocker switch came a diagram here and it pretty much told you how to route everything um, the rocker switch came with that fuse fr uh, from the battery to the switch and then uh, that's number three number two runs up to your closest uh, so all the way to the right if you're looking at the grill my third set of wires so I just added a third light there as you can see and just routed it that way so you only have to run those two wires into the cab and then the rest is ground to ground ground to ground power to power power to power and then power to cab and then power number three to the battery and then you got a ground in the cab and you got a ground in the engine bay so there you go pretty cool I think I'll like the looks of it a lot better at night but uh yeah it definitely accents that green and and everybody's uh pretty happy I'm happy anyways I hope you guys enjoy the quick video um, if you are gonna do a little wiring or you want to set up some lights like this I'm tr you know there's not much information out there but if you have any common sense you can pretty much figure it out um, there's got to be diagrams you can look up and stuff like that but you know I've done a little wiring here and there in the past so I figured I could just figure it out which I did gonna accent good with the green next step here is I'm gonna try to probably level this out for now until you know they come out with some more lift kits I'm looking for a four to six inch lift but um, they really don't have them dialed in right now they're super expensive so I was gonna go with a BDS six inch and you know I got to get new so if you do that you can't run your stock rims which I was going to do with the tires for now anyways just because they're brand new and uh, you can't do that is like a five inch back spacing that you'd have to do which I'm really not sure what that is but <laughs> so for now I'm gonna wait I'll probably just level it out and then uh, go from there yeah I love that green the Mopar sticker back there green Ram Rebel 12 so then my next step here is and then what's convenient about this is obviously it lights up you can shut it off if you don't want them on um so i have to figure out a way to mount this somewhere which it won't be too hard i mean i'll figure it out um maybe in the yeah that's not gonna work but i probably have to go through this plastic here somewhere which there's plenty of room back here i had this off earlier to uh to ground this wire out and uh i'll figure something out this actually came with like a little shroud that it clips into but it i mean there wasn't even any holes in it. it came with two screws which like i said there wasn't any holes in the shroud so i don't really know what they're for but uh yeah we'll figure something out here um could probably put it in there or something just cut that out slightly uh just to you want to go to this diameter here not the clip diameter but to where it's going to clip into that line and then obviously that line right there um and it's got a little trim plate around it so once you clip it in it'll sit nice and nice and flush so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video 2019 ram rebel 12 hit that uh Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell for the notifications when I'm making new videos. I greatly appreciate you guys' uh, support. And uh, if there's anything else you guys want to know or learn about, just let me know. Um, leave a comment, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Klusk, Klusk Customs. I hope everybody has a great day. Peace.